Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Unacademy Read English channel. Hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. My dear students, this particular session is for all the NEET 2025 aspirants. The ones who are going to write the NEET examination just after two months. Since you know, the last two months being the most crucial time uh, for the preparation of the NEET 2025 examination. So I believe all of you should exactly know the do's and don'ts which you are supposed to follow for the upcoming two months. My dear students, honestly, I've seen a lot of students preparing for day and nights for like one, one and a half years, but losing the track in the last months. And eventually, they do not qualify this particular examination because they try to commit some mistakes which you are not supposed to commit at this particular point of time. Because right now, at this particular moment, I know all of you would be thinking only about one thing, whether we'll get selected or not. But let me tell you, this is not the time, particularly the upcoming two months, this is not the time, my dear students, where you should think about the results. No, you should just follow the process of these two months. You should make sure that these uh, last two months, they become more and more, more effective when it comes to the NEET 2025 preparation. You should avoid negativity at this particular point of time. Because if you surround yourself with negativity at this particular point of time, my dear students, then it's going to be really difficult to crack this particular examination, which you have been dreaming from past two, two and a half years. So what exactly were all things you have to do in these last two months so as to score well when it comes to the NEET 2025 examination? So let's have a look on all these things one by one. The first and the most important thing. My dear students, this is the time where you have to prioritize the highest weighted chapters first. Whether you have completed them before or not, does not matter. Try to complete your highest weightage chapters right now again, if you have completed them once also, does not matter. Focus on the highest weightage chapters, that is the most important thing. Because from the highest weightage chapters, you know, you will be getting like four to five questions from every highest weightage chapter. And you cannot skip that particular chapter. Avoid skipping any highest video chapter. And if you do not know what are the highest video chapters, few days back only, we have posted one video wherein we have given you all the highest video chapters of your physics, chemistry, and even the biology. Right? One more important thing. I know a lot of students would be still completing the syllabus. They would have completed some 60%, 70% of the syllabus by now. I believe that. Right? My dear students, try to complete your whole syllabus by 10th of April. By 10th of April, your whole syllabus should be getting completed. Or the ones who have already completed the syllabus, try to do more and more revisions at this particular point of time. Because more the revisions you do right now, more the revisions you do right now, better is eventually going to be your score in the NEET 2025 examination. Because, you know, your score in the NEET examination is directly proportional to the number of revisions you do in these last two months. So, more and more revisions are important. Okay? So, your syllabus completion, whatever is pending right now, okay, that has to be done by the end of 10th of April. By 10th of April, your syllabus should be 100% completed. The last 20 days only and only you are going to revise the things and at the same time, you are going to write as many mock tests as possible, that too, the full syllabus mock tests in the last 20 days. That's again the most important thing which I would consider for you at this particular point of time. My dear students, at the same time, Right now, you cannot do a single subject in a single day. You cannot do a single subject for two, three days. Then change the subject after three days. Then change the subject after three more days. No. Try studying all the three subjects on a given day. Try studying all the three subjects, physics, chemistry, and biology. You have to prioritize all of them on a given day. For example, if you are giving four hours to physics on a given day, on the same day, you have to give four hours to your bio, four hours to your chemistry. Right? So technically, you will be studying 15 to 16 hours every single day in these upcoming uh, two months. Because if you are not doing so, then it's really difficult to get good ranks to get the selection when it comes to the NEET 2025 examination. So my dear students, try to mobilize these two months in the proper direction. That is the most important. So as I told you, four hours you'll be giving to your physics, right? Four hours you'll be giving to your chemistry, four hours you'll be giving to your biology every single day in these last uh, in these last two months okay and what exactly you'll be doing since you are giving four hours to a particular subject my dear students 
This is the time. If you have some pending portion right now in physics, chemistry, or biology, try to cover them through one shots. Okay. Do not go for the very, very, very detailed lectures like wherein uh, one chapter is covered in five to six sessions. Avoid that. Okay. Try to cover your left out portion which you have not studied yet through one shots. And on this channel, you will be getting a detailed one shot of every single uh, chapter uh, in the playlist that is Game of D 2.0. I would highly recommend you guys to check that. And at the same time, my dear students, if you have already covered your syllabus, then you can uh, check your, you can do your revisions. Revisions also you can do through one shots, but watch the one shot at 1.5x or 2x speed. Okay. And at the same time, whatever notes you have already made, okay, just revise through those notes as well. Do not try to make new notes at this particular point of time. Though you can make some formula sheets, you can make some sheets wherein you can write the reactions so that it'll be, it'll be easier for you when it comes to the last moment revision, you can do that, okay? So do not try to make new notes, follow the same notes which you have already made, right? And my dear students, whatever study material you have been solving till now, do not change the study material at this particular point of time. If you have solved the study material once, try solving the same study material again. Try solving the same study material again. If you have done it, if you have done it once, do it another time. Do it another time, right? So for, try to solve the same study material through two to three times, I believe, because that's how you are going to remember the approach of each and every question, particularly when it comes to your physics and physical chemistry, right? So do not change your study material at the end moment. Perfect. This is one of the most important things which you have to do. And same goes for chemistry, same goes for biology. Now, a few more important things. My dear students, as I told you already, please and please do not think about the results. Do not think whether we'll get selected or not. Leave it. That's the consequence of your preparation. Just make sure these 60 days you are mobilizing in the proper direction. And let's, let's not think about the results at this particular point of time. Let's make sure we are just giving 16, 15 to 16 hours every single day. That should be our motive right now. Okay. And as I told you already, you're supposed to avoid the negativity at this particular point of time. Surround yourself with the positive people, with your parents who are your well-wishers, right? Surround yourself with those people because they are the ones who will keep you motivated all the time. Okay, so people, one thing, avoid negativity at this particular point of time, which involves your negative, which involves your, those friends also who keep on inducing negativity in your brain, who keep, who will keep on telling you, no, two months are not sufficient. Let's prepare for need 2026. Let's give one more year. Avoid those sort of colleagues, your friends, your family members, whosoever you think is of that matter. That is the most important because having the positive mindset at this particular point of time is the most important thing if I talk about uh, the preparation in the last 60 days, right? One more thing. I know a lot of students would be giving the mock tests right now. My dear students, your mock test score, you know, in some of the mock tests, you'll be getting good scores. In some mock tests, you won't be getting good scores. But, but scores of your mock tests, it should not affect you at this particular point of time. Just for example, by chance in one mock test, you are getting less score. Try to analyze that. Take it positive. Take it in the positive way at this point of time, right? Do not, do not get depressed with the low scores in your mock test. Try to analyze that mock test in which you got the low score. Check whether you are getting problem in uh, concepts. Check whether you are getting problem in calculations, right? Try to figure that out and try to act upon those weaknesses which you feel after writing your mock test, right? But your mock test score should not affect your preparation. That is one more important thing. As I told you already, do as many revisions as possible because more the revisions you do, better is going to be a rank in the NEET 2025 examination. And at the same time, do not try to change your teachers at this particular point of time. Just remember this point. This is, again, I believe the most important point, right? Do not change your teachers at this particular point of time. The teachers who you have been following from past one year, from past two years, right? Watch their lectures only. Do not change it at the end moment. This again creates a negative impact in, in your preparation, guys. For example, you are studying chemistry from some teacher, right? Now you want to see my lectures at the end moment. I would say, don't do that. The teacher who you have been following from past one year, just follow their lectures at the end as well, okay? And one thing, try to analyze the past five-year PYQs of each chapter, right? By solving these five-year PYQs in these last 60 days, you'll get the idea of what are the frequently asked topics from a particular chapter. 
right? And my dear students, I believe when you get to know the most important topics in a chapter, right? If, 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 if you are not willing to do so, you can check one of my videos few days back I have posted wherein I have given you chapter-wise important topics and your paper will be, I would say 70 to 75% from those topics only, which I've given you in that session. Few days back only I've posted that video. You can watch that, okay, right? Try to cover those most important, uh, important topics as soon as possible, right? Because I'm again repeating the same thing, 70 to 75% of your paper will come from those topics only, okay? And at the end, my dear students, I would, Adjust you to eat healthy, try to stay fit because I know you have been preparing from past one, one and a half year, from two years. Some people would be preparing from past three years. Now at the end, you're supposed to remain healthy because by chance, God forbid, if something happens to your health at the end moment, then everything will be in vain, right? So try to stay fit, okay? Just do the exercise for like half an hour every single day. Try to eat healthy, right? Stay positive all the time because these last two months are now going to decide everything. Okay, leave whatever happened in the past. That is past now. Try to act upon these 60 days in a proper manner, right? And I'm again reiterating the same thing. Avoid negativity, stay healthy, try to shoot the bullseye. Okay, and guys, from last three, four days, you know, I was busy with the event Aram, so I could not deliver any lectures here on this particular channel. Now in two to three days, we are resuming back our series. That is the one shot series wherein one chapter is getting completed in like three to four hours only. So in just two days, I'll resume the, that series wherein the, our next chapter is going to be chemical bonding. I've given you two sessions. In one session, it was atomic structure one shot. Second session was general organic chemistry one shot. The next is going to be chemical bonding one shot, which I'll be taking maybe the after tomorrow or the after the hour after one day. Okay. So with this, I'll be taking a leave. Take care. God bless you all. And if you have any sort of comments related to your preparation, please and please let me know in the comment section of this particular video. And uh, if you are not the part of my Telegram group yet, I would highly recommend you to be the part of my Telegram channel wherein I keep on posting stuff related to your preparation. Uh, the name of the Telegram channel is Vaseem Bhatt Chemistry Official. You can join that and you can, I mean, whatever uh, preparation related queries you'll be having in these 60 days, you can let me know anytime related to that. Take care, God bless you all and love you all guys. Bye-bye.